Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got CR Droid for Galaxy S3. Now CR Droid is a really awesome ROM based on Cyanogen Mod 12 and you have a lot of options with it and uh, this is the second version, this is the newer uh, release and it's a really cool one. So let's get into the ROM now without much further review. So first of all what you would see here is the lock screen which is a similar one, it's simple and you can see it does have a um, launch, uh, the shortcut, lock screen shortcut which you can customize of course and it's pretty cool, really neat. Let's get to the launcher now, uh, first of all in the launcher you can see uh, it is a normal launcher, it is a CM12 launcher and you have all the options here, pretty cool, you can customize this to into a wide variety of stuff, you can have a lot of stuff with that, pretty cool. So, uh, what is special about CR Droid? It has a lot of customization options, kind of similar to what uh, you would find in something like Resurrection Remix or uh, Bliss Pop ROM. But uh, it's also a very, very stable base of Cyanogen Mod 12. So, pretty neat. Let's get into the settings menu and see what it is. Now, in the op in the about phone page, you can see it is CR Droid Android by this guy, which is uh, his name. I'm really, really sure about. So you can have that. You can also view the change log from uh, about phone page and see what all, all the differences. So this is the version I'm using right now, 8.2, 2015. So these are all the stuff which is there and uh, add open SSH, uh, add risk purpose which is a, C a CM feature and all of that has been added and stuff like this is working. Extra options now, uh, you can see it is Android 5.2, 5.0.2s as you can see that and uh, pretty cool kernel version and all of that is working so you can understandably see that this is a very very good ROM I mean I really have used this and uh, CR Droid is one such ROM which is a real winner when it comes to stability it, ha it has always been one of like that so pretty cool so what are all the options which we have I mean this is uh, based on Cyanogen Mod 12 so you are going to find all the options which Cyanogen Mod 12 has and also a few extra ones which are cherry picked from other ROMs. So let's get into the other options now. First of all, see your Droid Custom. In here we, you can see there are a lot of options. First of all, it's status bar option. You have clock style which is pretty cool. I mean you have all these options. You have left, center, uh, hidden and even pretty cool. It does have a left option uh, which is which in my mind is a really really unique one because not all ROMs have that. I, I really don't prefer those but for those who want a bit of a difference that it is there. Uh, it doesn't have the other stuff which like uh, center uh, day of the week indicator and stuff like that. That is not available in this but still a really cool feature to have. Uh, battery st uh, status style you can have all of these circle text battery percentage brightness control by sliding the uh, status bar, show notification count, super user indicator option also working, uh, network traffic option in the status bar, you can have that, you can enable that and you can have monitor your traffic there. Heads up notification, now this is something which I really appreciate, I mean, uh, a feature with the newer uh, Lollipop ROM is that you will get heads up notification and on the stock ROM, you really don't have an option to disable that and a lot of people have been complaining and I, I mean, a per few friends of mine who have already gotten lollipop update has been complaining and asking me how to turn that off there seems to be no other way than just uh, to remove that app which they don't want on the notification header to uh, don't not notify anything so that is something there so you do have an option to notify and you do have a swipe behavior option and touch outside behavior option if you touch outside of the notification you can actually click uh, you can actually um, hide the notification and stuff like that you have timeout option do not disturb and blacklist also so yeah that is something which i really appreciate this is a really cool feature to have in a lollipop rom recent panel uh, you have all the options which you can uh, expect out of a cm12 rom something which i really miss is that it only has top right and top left clear out button which is kind of not where i want them to be i mean they, I, I want them to be on the bottom side not the top side so that's something of a miss well whatever it is something which i don't really particularly enjoy so yeah clear all tags you have that option which is available in resurrection remix also where you if you clear uh, click the clear all button you can either keep 
the foreground task open or you can clear everything and go to the home screen also so you can enable or disable that why what you want omni switch it does have omni switch and for you folks who use omni switch it's a really great feature you can have all that pretty cool lock screen option now this is where i was talking talking about the shortcuts so you can enable shortcuts i have already enabled audio effects just long press that in the shortcut menu to go into that option so that's really cool you also can customize the bottom corners you can click here and select application and also choose none if you don't want anything and here also if you choose none you don't want anything that's pretty cool you can have that also so that does work out it's a simple lock screen and you can also get rid of that to have one of the most simple lock screen in any of android so you can have that display options in the display option you have lcd density selection so 320 is the default one you can change it to 280 to 40 whatever you want or even 420 if you're crazy and want that pretty cool you can have that option so neat uh, app circle ball this does make a comeback you, you have app circle bar you can enable that and include apps which you want there and you can get to it from any any uh, menu or any app or whatever you want keep the essential stuff there and pretty cool uh, gesture anywhere you already know I really love this option and this is my favorite uh, thing when it comes to you know, AOSP stuff um, so you can assign uh, gestures to different apps or actions or stuff like that and you can have that executed virtually anywhere so really neat you can have that also animation it does have AOKP animations and toast animation and you can customize the way your phone responds or the way the phone looks pretty much anything I mean you can do a lot of stuff with that it does have an ad blocker built in so you can enable that and um, have ads blocked in certain apps or in all the apps if you want that so it does have that if you want to use that pretty neat uh, it also has a screen recorder which is standard you can have that you can have its external audio bitrate selection uh, size selection etc you can have that way clock blogger I haven't really had any way clock issues with the current lollipop ROMs at least the latest lollipop ROM so but if you are having way clock issues you can enable that and have that working now uh, it does have notification drawer option which is really neat one you can have quick pull down you can uh, assign sides for quick pull down also smart pull down show weather in the notification bar you can have that it will be showing up here and yeah you just saw what I have done this is my favorite configuration in this because it shows everything in one tile which is a really really cool thing I mean you have all of this I've enabled everything so these are the ones which you will be available you will be able to see you have that pretty neat and you can enlarge or delarge the uh, first row so if you enable this it will be two on the main tile so the most important two you can have there uh, or you go like mine you can also disable brightness here because if you are using slide to change the brightness you don't really need the slider there so that is really cool advanced location settings that is that if you click the location button it will uh, take you to um, the screen where you can select if you want what type of location service you want so that is also really cool vibrate on touch that is something which I really appreciate because it, that makes you know that you have clicked that Wi-Fi button to turn off the Wi-Fi so that is really cool I really like that one so, themes now this does have the CM12's latest theming stuff so that is cool and I like it because you will be getting bored of the material theme after some days. I mean I've used SlimROM and I'm already uh, SlimROM as my daily driver for about two days and I'm already bored of the, lollip uh, the uh, lollipop uh, material design. I'm bored of it. I want something else. So theme manager is really cool if you plan to use your ROM for more than a couple of days I guess yeah you do have display options and it does work out uh, really cool I mean it does have uh, ambient display which is called dose and uh, I'm not really sure how does how accurate that is I I was able to get that working but not with the normal picking up of the phone but the notification certainly does work so that is really cool you do have font sizes I like to keep mine at low uh, small and it does work I really like that double tap to sleep wake on plug adaptive backlight really cool if you really use that it can be a really good thing uh, sound and notification options you have normal options I mean most of these are similar to what you would see in any lollipop ROM so I'm not going to get too much into that now in the sound set options you have an advanced mode in which you can select less frequent notification sounds so if you have that friend who keeps on spamming 
by SMSs or cell broadcasts. You can enable that to uh, less frequent uh, notification sounds and you, it will only ring notification once in five minutes. Buttons, now in the buttons option you have in enabling the navigation bar. So you can enable navigation bar and have all that working pretty cool. I mean, I, I don't really use that, but it I can see a lot of people using that. It also has the arrows when typing. So when the keyboard is up, you will see arrows here to uh, control your cursor, which is a really neat function, but not particularly useful in something which I won't be using. So yeah, hardware keys enabling. So you can disable hardware keys and keep that on if you want to. Pretty cool power button options. You, you do have options to change what all appears in the power button. So uh, from what I can see, you can enable these two and you can have all of those working in this also so pretty cool that is really neat uh, wake up device answer call with the home button which I really use I always use that because that is something which I really like uh, home button uh, keyboard cursor control also is available but um, that is something which I I think will be more useful than the on-screen uh, arrow keys with the navigation bar because I won't be using navigation bar so uh, with volume control might be something which I really like so yeah, pretty neat rest everything is similar to what you would expect in any other lollipop from so I'm not going to get too much into that because that is simple and same as any other th any other stuff so yeah so just so you guys know in the apps menu it is fixed that you can move uh, to SD card so that is available option just that you don't understand. I mean, the previous versions of Science and More ROMs did have this issue, but now it you it can be moved to uh, SD card. Well, I have only got one app installed right now, so I'm moving from phone to SD, and it does work out. So yeah, just so you guys know, it is now on SD card. So yeah, it works. Yay! So that much is it in the settings menu, and uh, that. Well, that should be in the settings menu. I'll show you guys the boot animation, which is really basic and awesome. So here is the boot animation, which is a really minimal, really just, it says what it is and it's, it's done. So yeah, that's pretty much it with the ROM. I'll show you guys the enter the benchmark score, which is a, well, it's expected and it works. So yeah, I guess that much should be it. I'll show you guys the benchmark process also. So just for you know. So yeah, there you have it. That is the score which I received. It's about the same as the last time I received it also. Uh, shockingly same. I mean, it's 26.540 and it's 26.535. So yeah, not much difference. So, and that is something which is um, expected out of a lollipop ROM right now at this point. So not going to, to bash too much on it. So pretty cool. So yeah, um, about the rest of stuff. A few people have asked me this personally, I mean, okay, uh, everything works, Bluetooth works, Wi-Fi works, uh, camera does work, uh, the aspect ratio is in rear, it works. Uh, something which I want to show you guys is that the ca uh, calendar app is the older calendar app for you guys to know. Uh, the newer calendar app did just change the uh, month view to just day view, so just a list, so that's different, so yeah. Okay, uh, also I'll take this moment to tell you guys, if there is something wrong with the ROM, I will be mentioning that if everything works, I don't feel the way, of, I don't feel it is good, I mean it's necessary to mention that separately, so just so you guys know, that's just it. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM, hope you guys like the video, please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful, see you guys next time, bye.